Watch you guys got another video here for you this is another malware removal video on Windows 10 here now this one's really heavily infected um, you can see we've got pop-ups popping up on the screen this is really taxing the CPU the memory and the hard drive to a hundred percent and it grinds the PC to a halt it also blacks gives us a black screen of death as well now if you want to uh, remove malware for yourself then this type of video might be helpful to you a word of caution if you are going to go down the road of removing malware yourself you need to make sure that it's 100% clean and free from malware especially if you do online banking and any of those types of things now if you have got infections I would always advise you to change your banking details your password and all that sort of stuff because if you don't and they've managed to get those details you will find yourself uh, being ripped off so as you can see here uh, you don't know what's on the system um, the browser could be hijacked there could be all sorts of stuff on the computer when you're getting infected by different types of infections you don't know what type of they are until you uh, investigate so if you're not up to that sort of task then let a professional have a look at it and uh, let them deal with it but if you want to have a little go yourself I'm going to show you some free tools you can use to remove malware for yourself as you can see here I'm trying to close these boxes down there's tons of them it just keeps producing loads of these boxes and eventually the system will bomb out as you can see in a second um, but these types of system infections you need to sometimes do these uh, from safe mode or from a live environment live environments are like um, antivirus CDs that you can boot up to and run scan from those and as you can see here the screen has now gone black we've now lost uh, all picture I did shorten that down it was off for a, a good period of time you can see it's gone again um, but I cut a lot of that out as you can see here the CPU is getting maxed out uh, the memory does start to go up really high and also so does the um, hard drive so what we're going to do here is reboot the system into uh, safe mode um, so you can see it's uh, opened up a load of tasks here we're going to close all those off and force close them and boot our system up into safe mode so we'll just let this uh, boot up to safe mode now safe mode is somewhere where you can boot to and it will stop a lot of processes running which also will hopefully stop a lot of malware from running and this will allow you to run scans now you must make sure that you with safe mode in networking so you can download some tools but as you can see here we have a proxy on this computer which is not allowing us to connect to the internet so we we'll need to sort that out in a second but first off what I'm going to do is open up command prompt with administration rights here and type MRT forward slash question mark and this is going to give us the commands that we can use I'm going to run a false full scan here of MRT and we're going to type MRT forward slash space forward slash F just like so and push enter and this will open up the Microsoft Windows malicious software removal tool this is built into uh, Windows 10 here so I'm going to run this and click next now this is going to run scans for particular types of files malicious files and then hopefully remove those which will help us as you can see we've got eight of them detected already let's deal with that proxy server I'm going to open up the browser here you can see it's a uh, not working properly so we're going to go to settings here and just see if there is a proxy there should be something on here and we're just going to find the location for proxy and there we are there and if we now go down to where it says land settings you can see there is a proxy on here so we're going to just take the tick out of this and click OK and then we're going to reset the browser and hopefully uh, we can get back onto the internet if we can then we can then download some tools now you notice I've not got no tools on the system here and I'm deliberately done that um, because that's a question I always get asked how am I going to get the tools if I can't get on the internet so hopefully this will help remedy some of your issues that you may be having yours may be slightly different to these and you may still have trouble but if that's the case then use a live CD so we're going to do Hitman Pro here, get this onto the system. It's a free tool that you can download and use to scan for malware. Download the 32-bit or the 64-bit version, depending on what you've got. 
on your computer. So we're going to use Malwarebytes here as well. I'm going to download that as well. And let that come down. We're going to get the free version here, as you can see. Download those. And then we're going to get ADW Cleaner. Go to Bleeping Computer and download ADW Cleaner. This will get rid of a lot of adware on the system, all that pop-up stuff, nasty, um, irritable stuff that can get on the system and slow it down. Then we've got those down and on our desktop here. We're going to do File Explorer. We're just going to take a quick peek at some of the locations here to see if there is loads of malware in there. So we're going to go to the C drive, users, and then Brytek, yours will be your username. Click the view tab here if you're on Windows 10 and put a tick in hide items or hidden items. Then we'll click, click app data, roam in, and you can see here we've got numerous different stuff. Now you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. You can just leave the scans to do all the dirty work for you. Um, but if you want to have a little route around and you are um, keen to have a look, then you can do this. Just be careful what you delete here. You can see there is loads of malware on here. So we're just going to remove these from the system. I'll just show you some, some of these. These are typical um, malware. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll remove these uh, from the system. And the roaming folders are a typical place for them to be uh, lurking around. Temporary folders. There's loads of other locations, common area. Um, there's quite a few locations you need to check, but we're just going to quickly check this while that scan's running. And then what we'll do is remove all this from the system. Just going to check a few more locations here inside here. I'm going to highlight the ones that I think are a malware. I'll leave that. Xbox alone for now and I'll just remove the ones that I think are malware. You can always uh, let the scanner do this for you as I said. Hit the delete button and delete these out. Like so. That's a, another one. We're going to do this one as well. That's, um, I'm not sure if that's a real file or if that's suspicious. Um, but we'll can investigate that a little bit later on. You can always upload that to Virus Total just to check. But I know there is an Xbox uh, part of Windows 10, so I'm just going to leave that alone for now. Go into the local and have a look in temp file. So I'm going to have a quick look inside this temp area here and uh, remove a lot of junk inside there because that's where a lot of malware resides as well. So we're just going to get rid of all this crap in here and uh, it'll repopulate itself if it needs to. And just delete all that stuff. Okay, that's this scan now complete for uh, the malicious tool. So I'm going to close that uh, prompt box off and we're just going to hit finish. You can see the results here and you can see that this is the particular type of stuff it's looking for the real nasty stuff and if this stuff is on your system which you can see there's eight of them on this computer you've got big problems so that's why it's important to run that particular type of tool to make sure you've got no nasty root kits on there as well now we've done that we can empty our uh, recycle bin here and now we're going to install malware bytes and run Malwarebytes on the system. I'll just quickly install this. This is a simple process of installing and then just running a scan. You can enable the free trial for a premium if you wish. I'm just going to untick that and let this uh, scan run. So first off, I'm just going to make a couple of changes uh, to the settings here. Make sure we've got rootkit scanning enabled as well. Don't know why that context menu entry is not on. It should be on all the time. I'm just going to put the tick in scan for rootkits. Make sure it's exactly how I want it. And then we're just going to 
go back to the dashboard and run a scan. So I'll shorten that process up. As you can see, it found 169 frets. Just going to remove these off the system and uh, click finish. I didn't want to bore you with the whole scanning process. That's going to want to restart here. Should really restart, but I'm going to click no here just to speed the process up. But you should restart the system and then go back into safe mode. But I'm going to close this off and run another scan with Hitman Pro. This is another free tool or 30 day trial you can use. And uh, we're just going to click next here and let this scan run. Again, I'll speed the process up. And we'll just remove those from the system. Now you're going to need to activate for a free license here. I'll do that quickly. And then we'll just remove this from the computer. And once we've done this, I'm going to run a quick scan with ADW Cleaner. I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible for you guys. And if you see this, you can always click more info and then run anyway. It's because it's not been, it's not published. It's not a trusted uh, file, but it is clean and safe to use. So we're just going to clean this all up, run a scan and then hit cleaning. And this will clean off any adware. Now we need to restart the system. We'll just let this boot up. Now you can see Hitman Pro wants to do its thing and remove a lot of stuff that it found. And we'll just get to the uh, desktop here. Okay, so you can see we're now, we should be in a good position here. Let's try the internet and see how we're going here. Okay, that seems to be working a lot better, as you can see. Now we're going to go for ESET Online Scanner. This is a very powerful tool. And we're going to run this as well, just to make sure there's no remnants left behind on the system. And we're just going to go up to where it says download ESET Smart Installer. And we're going to run this on the computer. Now this will take a bit of time. So I'll just speed this process up once we've installed all this onto the system. Click yes to the agreement terms and then click start. This will download all the components that it needs to run. And just let that run on the system, okay? It may take a bit of time. Now if you are just in safe mode itself, you will not be able to run this. You have to be in safe mode with networking to be able to download this stuff. So we're just going to put some ticks in some areas here. I'm not going to scan archives, but I do want to scan for potentially unsafe applications. And uh, I don't need a proxy setting, so I'm just going to click start here and let this run. Now this is going to download all the virus signatures uh, that it needs and then run a full scan on the computer. So just let that come down. So I'm just going to quickly open up MS config here. And make sure we've removed that tick from safe mode so we can get back to the normal desktop once this uh, scan is finished. Apply that and OK. I don't want to restart just yet because we haven't finished this scan. So we'll just let the scan finish. And when it reboots, it will boot to the, to the desktop. Now you can see there's a problem here with Windows Defender. So I'm just going to quickly enable this just to make sure that the, that can detect anything as well. 
I'm going to come down to update and security and just make sure that we uh, check our Windows Defender here and you can see there's a couple of ticks off so I'm just going to put those back on and that should be back up and running Now just let this scan it will take a fair bit of time now you may not have to run as many scans as this on your computer it depends on how heavily infected your computer is but as you can see this one is very heavily infected and it's still finding stuff like a fire hooker and also a trojan dropper and bladderbindi worm which is a backdoor type of uh, worm you can see here i'm going to run another scan with panda cloud cleaner Again, you can skip some of these if your computer is now clean, um, but if you don't want to uh, format your machine, you need to make sure that everything on that system has been removed. Now this, you can see here now with Windows Defender will start to detect stuff as well. Uh, when I'm running this scan now, I've enabled that. I also run another scan with ESET Online Scanner just to make sure that everything was clean as well. So I'm just going to run another scan with this just to make sure um, that this is clean. This is another type of free software you can use. So we're just going to run this. Do a quick scan here. And then once I've done a quick scan of this, I will run Farbar's tool and uh, see what I detect on the system and remove whatever's left there. Now you can run Farbar at the beginning if you wish, um, but this is a part I just wanted to do just to finish off. Uh, but I'm just going to quickly close this off. As you can see, it found two. Now these are the tools that I used as well, uh, which is Farbar Service Scanner, just to make sure there's no dodgy uh, files missing or any dodgy files on the system. Freefixy you can use as well as another tool that you can use. These take a bit more experience to use, uh, but as you can see here, uh, now I've run all these scans. I've run Farbar, and that come up nice and clean as well. There was some stuff still found on the system, but Farbar soon removed all of that. So anyway, we'll take a quick look at Process Explorer here, just to see if there's anything left running on here. As you can see, there's nothing left running. Everything's been taken care of, and the system is running nice and smooth and clean empty the restore points and the jobs are good. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit that like button. It really does help me out. Also, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.